Who's ready for an adventure? for another morning fish after a horrid night's sleep. Mosquitoes were not good, not horrendous, but enough that I didn't sleep well at all. Um, had a thunderstorm roll in in the early morning. Yeah, we're up now. I don't really need a whole lot in the way of fish. I have one bass tethered back at the uh, at the camp, and my family comes to visit today. So my both of my parents and my two younger cousins, Rob and Scott, they're going to be arriving in time for dinner if all goes as planned. I've already had my breakfast of <coughs> cattail shoots cattail rhizomes and blueberries so I just uh, just need to worry about lunch for today that bass should hold me but I could do with more um, as the days go on I'm increase increasingly aware of how much weight and how much muscle mass I've lost so I'm really trying to uh, eat as much fish as possible try and if I can't put some weight back on, at least stop the uh, stop the slide. <clears throat> but uh, I'm going for bass this morning. Be nice to get a a two bass lunch. A pike would work as well, but I just prefer the taste of bass. And I wouldn't really want a, uh, a huge pike. That'd just be too much meat. And uh, wouldn't go to waste, but it wouldn't be needed either. So, that's the goal for the morning. Well, it's not a bass, but it'll do for lunch. That bit just as I turn the camera off. Give me a couple more of these and I'm a happy camper. I love perch. Perch is probably the most delicious fish that I've been eating consistently. I haven't been able to get many walleye that are outside the slot size, so a nice tasty perch will go well with my bass. Caught another decent sized perch a little while ago. So the lunch tally is now at two perch, one bass. I'm all out of cattail rhizomes. Had the last few this morning. And the, uh, the last harvest I did was really not a very good one. Aside from having a low yield, a lot of them were quite small, thin little things, and there's hardly any 
any food on them. So uh, I'm going to recruit my younger cousins as minions and put them to work harvesting rhizomes. See if I can get a decent harvest this time and uh, hopefully I will get enough to last me through until the end of July when my adventure comes to a close. So that would be two weeks worth. I was just in the area and figured I may as well check my minnow trap. Unfortunately with the storm it got blown out of position so it was uh, in this nice little funnel that I created here. Now it is over here. Looks like as per usual it's had no trouble catching crayfish. Let's see, two feisty eyes, maybe three. Oh, there's a minnow. My first suprinted. Very exciting. Alright, so I'll put that back in. I got one nice minnow there. And, uh, two or three crayfish. Very neat. Alright. So that's going to go back in position where it's supposed to be. And, uh, hopefully get some minnows tonight. There's perch number three. That'll make for a good meal. Here we go for another exhausted walk on a dreary morning. I don't have the energy to waste on these things. <clears throat> I hope you appreciate what I'm doing for you here, Roy. He's my joy and my burden. I wonder how I'd feel if I was well rested right now. Because I'm sure that's why I'm so low energy. I've had several nights of two hours sleep or less. And uh, I've been eating well though. Lots of fish. Haven't had a lot of starch. Rhizomes have been very low quality and I haven't had all that many so that might might affect things as well. Not many complex carbohydrates. But uh, yeah, it just makes me curious. How much is diet and how much is sleep? Either way, I am drained of energy. I'm going to clean my bass after this. Gather some firewood. Cook it up with some cattail flowers. And then have a nice nap. It's late morning now and I've just finished a lunch of bass and cattail flowers. I think I'm going to take a nap now and see if I can get a little bit of sleep before my family gets here. They should be arriving around dinner time. Uh, the weather has cleared up and it's windy, so it's at this point reasonably good drying weather. I don't entirely trust it to stay nice though, so I'm not going to put anything out to dry. I don't have a whole lot that's damp anyways. I've got a, basically what I'm wearing and that's about it. So uh, yeah, I'm going to head down to nap, see if I can get a couple of good hours and then get up and get some work done. I'm just waking up from a good three, three and a half hour nap. Still shaking the cobwebs out, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean those perch, cook them up, along with the uh, last three cattail flowers I have. The ones that I had this morning were definitely approaching the end of their 
the end of their days, so uh, I'm gonna eat them all up. No sense leaving them any longer. It's uh, quite, quite windy right now, hard south wind. I was entertaining thoughts of uh, paddling to the north end of the lake to meet my family. That's where they're going to be coming from. And I am very glad that I didn't do that, because I'd be having to fight my way back against a very, very strong wind, and I don't know if I could do it. So, made the right choice snapping instead. It's been quite the interesting day so far, weather-wise. Uh, seen the whole gamut of thunderstorms in the morning, cool and rainy in the later morning, and it was uh, hot and sunny and windy. Now it is very windy, with some darker clouds rolling in. I'm hoping we don't get rain, but I think we might get a little bit. It's uh, the consistent thing for today, though, has been the wind. It's definitely been a tilly strapped on sort of a day. I lost mine to the wind, it went into the water at the north end of the island, and it's a south wind, so I was faced with a choice, take a quick dip or let the hat go, and faced with a choice like that, it's, uh, it's really no choice at all, so uh, my clothes are hanging up to dry, and uh, I still have my nice damp hat keeping me cool. I've also got some cattail flowers that have boiled and I've cooked up the four perch that I caught this morning, so it should be a nice late afternoon supper. I'm just going to drink the cattail flour juice, the water that I boiled it in. I've been feeling pretty dehydrated today, so I think that'll just... Those extra fluids can only help me at this point. So today's tea is going to be strawberry raspberry. Uh, this is the first time that I've used the strawberry that I gathered on my walk uh, a few days ago. My strawberry raspberry tea has now had about 20 minutes to steep and it should be good to go. too fancy, but it's a uh, another nice mild tea. I found that each of the uh, each of the flavors, strawberry and raspberry, they had um, a bit of a, a fruity taste, and uh, again mild but pleasant. They they go nicely together. City, I'm used to drinking things like orange pico or mint tea. This would seem extremely mild, but uh, I've been out here a while now, and uh, it's it's one of the better ones that I've tried. The better half, I'd say. So not the most robust tea, but still gets a thumbs up from me. So now it's time for me to get camp tidied up and wait for my visitors to arrive. Go see Roy, who is this? We have visitors. Oh, 
Well, hello there, everyone. <laughs> so there's some rocks on the right side here, so I'd get a little further from shore. And then up ahead, 100 meters or so, you've got your island. A little rock just south of the island, and then another rock a little further south. Yeah. 